Louis Brandeis was born in 1856 in Louisville, Kentucky, to an immigrant Ashkenazi Jewish family from Prague, Bohemia, today's Czech Republic. His parents, politicized and ostracized by the 1848 Czech Revolution, settled in the US and soon became abolitionists and advocated for the security of private personal privacy rights and individual protections. The young Brandeis was an exceptional student and his parents cultivated an environment that informed Brandeis's views of the world. He graduated from high school with honors at a mere 14 years old and in 1872 visited Europe with his family where he studied at the Annenschule in Saxony. At the age of 18, he entered Harvard Law School, where his achievements shocked the institution. Flourishing under the changes in legal pedagogy, from traditional case law to the Socratic, precedent-based method that encouraged legal reasoning, Brandeis completed a Bachelor of Laws before reaching the university-regulated age, with the highest grades in the school's history. After graduation, Brandeis tutored law students and independently continued his law studies. A year later, he was admitted into the Missouri Bar and began working at a St. Louis firm until he and a Harvard colleague struck a partnership and established a law firm in Boston, which continues to operate today as Nutter, McLennan and Fish. Two years later, after spending some time serving as a law clerk to the Chief Justice of the Massachusetts Supreme Court, Horace Gray, Brandeis entered the Massachusetts bar without examination. Because of his family's resources, Brandeis frequently provided pro bono work and eventually became known as the People's Lawyer and the Robin Hood of the Law. Dedicated to advocating social and political rights, he took on unpaid cases to serve both individuals and to support the collective. He did all that was possible to stand against American industrialism, powerful, monopolizing corporations, public corruption, and mass consumerism, which he believed was detrimental to American values. The most notable achievement in his career was the Brandeis Brief, a pioneering document that forever changed the Supreme Court and law in the United States. Brandeis took on the case Muller versus Oregon in defense of women's labor rights. In court, he presented for the first time in Supreme Court history a brief based on medical, social, and scientific documentation, the testimony of laborers, and little appeal to legal argumentation. His work was a benchmark first effort to merge law with social science, and it quickly became a model and strategy which many future class cases of health and welfare in the Supreme Court built upon. For this crusade for social justice, he was nominated to the Supreme Court by President Woodrow Wilson in 1916. Law was not only Brandeis's vocation, but his passion, and he wrote frequently about the emotional connection to legal studies and the law. He was a visionary of American values and freedoms, and he fought to improve all facets of American life, society, and nation. Brandeis's career enshrined unprecedented labor laws and protections for individual privacy and the defense of freedom of speech. He is remembered as courageous, and according to Justice William O. Douglas, dangerous because he was incorruptible. In his own words,
We can have democracy in this country or we can have great wealth concentrated in the hands of a few. But we can't have both. Louis Brandeis.